threw their hands up. If you cannot guard at the college level, no matter what level that is, Division One, Two, Three, NAI, Junior College, you will get exposed. Yep. Most definitely. That last jumper for Team White was throwing number 257. Is he struggle trying to get back to back jumpers? Bang, bang. Got him. Struggle with back to back Jays to make it 14 to 20. Struggle with the jumper as we look there on the instant replay. Ah. Newly minted social media exposure member. Glad to have her as a part of the program. Looking forward to working with her. Nice young prospect there out of North Carolina. Raleigh during that triangle area. That area, no stranger to hoops talent. And Strago representing well here at EBA All-American Camp. When well, we talked about wanting coming out of the half, obviously making the switch over with that group. Wanted to play a little faster. Wanted to push the ball, but play with purpose. And then obviously defend. And you're seeing some of that here early in the second half, Marcus, trying to get out and push the ball in transition. Yep. Macy Carson with the steal there. She's been an example of what you just mentioned. Maya Goolsby. I think she needs to speed up a little bit more. I say that tongue in cheek. She's been all <laughs> over the place. She's fantastic, the man. Now I really like, like her energy and, and the way that she plays this game, man. 257 there. Struggle with another score. This time it's inside the three-point line, but she's got three buckets here in the second half already. Well, Herman can afford to be a nice tandem. When you talk about Lily Griff, they're number 44, kind of pushing the tempo for us. So a lot of good players, man. Like Ford's ability to finish through contact here early on. Their step back jumper, ice cream. Another member of the social media exposure program. Program keeps going. More and more quality players that are going to be recruited. I know her mom was mentioning the phone was ringing there. I have on the first day that schools could call. Furman, Radford, whole host of schools dialing in there for McKenna Ford. 11 point contest now as we are under the 10 minute mark. You know, what I love is y'all just heard Brandon Clay just talking to the owner of PeachStateBasketball.com. It, it's almost like the old MTV rock and jock feel when you get to go to the coach for a second. It's like inside the huddle they're telling you about what's going on. You can touch base on the recruitment as he talked about both Izzy Strigel as well as McKenna Ford, two of our SMP members. You know, for those of you out on the broadcast kind of wondering what that means, you know, there's so much about getting exposure and getting your name out there and, and getting pushed to these college coaches across different networks. That's what our S&P member program is. You know, everybody here on staff is a part of that. You know, we work with you, whether it's video, work with you, you know, on your recruit and, and your scouting. So if you're definitely interested in, that, interested in that, as you see McKenna Ford there again, that one didn't fall, you know, visit PeachStateBasketball.com. Reach out to us. Let us know what we can do to kind of help you get to the next level. Working hard there is number 74. That's Grace Waterberg. You know, really liked how she was able to catch it in transition and draw that contact. You know, she didn't just catch it and go up. She waited a second, kind of did a little 180, and then went into the contact to get to the free throw line. Said Waterberg's name a few times here throughout this one. Valdera will send. Arena of Kenakova to the free throw line. Played through the first bump, earned the call there on the second. Yeah, both uh, Polina and her sister Arena, they're both out of IMG down in Florida. Great programs in all sports across the board. Speaking of IMG in Florida, IMG representative there in their varsity football team was here in nearby Loganville taking on Grayson uh, there in week one of the football season. They were able to get a victory over the Rams. One of the better programs in Atlanta over the past few years. Same program that produced Robert Kimbiki, Wayne Gallman, that's at Clemson right now. And IMG came in and uh, made slight work of yes. the talented Rams there in week one. Yeah, you know, I believe at the time Grayson was ranked number two in the country in most of the rankings. You know, IMG also another top ten program. Great thing to watch, you know. It, it's just such an awesome experience. You know, that's for what anybody says, you know, why would you go to IMG or why would you go to Grayson? They played on ESPN. 
I, I didn't play on ESPN. There was no SUV TV around when I was averaging five points a game at Shallow High School, you know. But it just <laughs> that kind of – it was a couple more than five, but not many more. But, like, just, like, that experience. You know, those kids, even if they don't play in college, they're going to have that experience forever. Yep. And, and that's why so many players go to IMG or you go to those powerhouses it's just to have that moment. Couldn't agree with you more, man. It's an 11-point game. Team White with the advantage. Here's McKenna Ford. Good defense on the inside. And Shaquille Watson, 89, got a piece of that. Ansley Kiefer, she's doubled, finds a lifeline in Chinakova. And Chinakova with the triple. That is Arena, 79. Coming over to help now, poked away, but chased down by Gould. Traveling violation there against Watson. Six minutes, 52 seconds remaining on the game clock. Chris Hansen, one of the PSB evaluators that you mentioned is here on site today. Made the trip all the way there from Seattle. Enjoyed our time at the Check Me Out Showcase a couple weeks back. Jumper, no good. Bulls. You know, you mentioned the Check Me Out Showcase. What Chris Hansen has done, you know, with Check Me Out Nation and, and just the things that he's doing there on the West Coast, you know, just, just really kind of owning the West Coast in terms of skill development camps. You know, now he's got open period tournaments for travel teams. Really found that kind of niche out there. And many of these players from now the East Coast fly out to the West Coast to go to his camps, and they fly from there to here to come to our EBA camps. So if you're listening, you're out there anywhere on the West Coast, Midwest, make sure you definitely check out everything that Chris Hansen's doing with his Check Me Out events. Hey, look at the slate of events. You want to be able to go against some of the best in the country in a setting that's not only going to, going to allow you to show what you can do, but also get better. And you look at some of the uh, the company that's kept there in the EBA slate of camps. So check me out, showcase you had Evita Westbrook. And she narrowed uh, down her top five schools here over the course of the past week. She was at Check Me Out. You had uh, Ariel Scott, who's gotten offers from uh, Duke. Uh, I believe Kentucky has offered. And uh, that's not an exhaustive list by any means, but she was at Check Me Out as well. She's here on site. You've got Caitlin Gilbert and Anaya Peoples played their uh, club ball with the uh, best choice squad out of the Midwest. The two great players, they're here on hand as well. So plenty of bump talent here when it comes to the, uh, the pool of players at the EBA All-American camp. You know, and the reason why you got to come to camps like Check Me Out or EBA All-American, whether it's EBA Super 64, in June, you've got to play that competition. You know, you'll see players, they might average 20 a game in high school, and they step in this environment, they go, whoa. You know, this isn't my small high school private league. This, I mean, this is how you really see, you know, how competitive you can be at the next level. That's why travel ball is so important. I mean, you've got to be able to go against the best. Yep. And you might not, you can't decide most times what high school you go to or what region you're in. But you can decide what tournaments you're going to go in, what camps, to, to really kind of test your mind against the best players in the nation like we have here today. That you can. Maya Goolsby, number 40, uh, 14 black. She knocked down a triple a couple possessions ago. We've seen her get the floater game going and attack the rack. It's her first three-point make of the contest. And she's right back with a jumper for Izzy Strigel. Drago trying to use the screen. Back-to-back -back jumpers. Another one. Another one. As it's 
another bucket from the outside for Strigel. Shooting it very well here. She's already got, you know, unofficially I've counted four jumpers, man. I think one of them was a two. But uh, she's definitely got double digits. I want to say she's around 15 to 17 points here. Good portion of them here in the second half. Really, I think all of them are in the second half. Now getting to the rack and earning a trip to the line. Izzy Strigel getting it done. We take a look at that uh, three-pointer a couple plays ago, and that's a pretty good contest there on that shot. Hand and face didn't matter. String music by Izzy. Broken up. Fouled there against Griffith. Sixteen point game. Team White still in control. Is he struggle? Big part of that. Positioning there by Mary Martha Turner. As Macy Carter comes over the back there. Another rebound for Macy Carson. Four. Ahead to Strigel. Strigel too strong on the layup attempt. <laughs> Trip to the line coming here for Mary Martha Turner. She has been on fire all day. Yes. Quick release, you know, high arc, able to get her shot over larger defenders. And what I like about her, she catches it looking to shoot. Oh, yeah. So many players catch it, and the first thing they do is look down at the floor. I mean, if you're a shooter, it doesn't matter where you are. You see, you see how quickly they're on that replay, already sizing it up, like you mentioned, man. Just great, great awareness there. Muscle memory doing the rest there on that jumper. Rebound by Haley to Carl. Waterberg with another bucket. Jumper along the baseline. Number 43 there with the bucket. That's Kalina Ochenikova. So we'll be back with more EBA All-American camp here from the camp game. Thanks for joining us here on SUV.